arrived uh, here in Bombay. We arrived back on <coughs> Monday evening and off again on Wednesday. Ah, Monday. Monday, right. Uh, what time on Monday, darling? that we have to write all these things down. So I don't get mixed up. <laughs> what things do? Uh, my arrangements. My business arrangements. I am a busy man. I've got work to do. You are a genius. Okay. Is it a little lovely, darling? Now you better rush, darling. You want to get rid of me? No, darling. Of course, I hate to see you go. But time passes and planes and take off. But, uh, Will you take good care of him while I'm away? I try my best, but he is a big boy now, you know. Yes, that'll do. You better hurry, darling. I'll go get ready then. Well, uh, what for lunch? Is American flying out? Yes, yes. I'm waiting for my orders. Sir has his own timetable. On the menus change according to the timetables. Oh, all the time. Take it. They change. They change around all the time. Take it easy. So what do you want for lunch? You are the cook. Give yourself. Uh, Guy <coughs> 3 will be here for lunch. Hmm. Guy 3, huh? I think I can cope with that one. Yeah, yeah. But it isn't easy, you know. I find it very difficult to handle them in, in all the time followed. But uh, I don't know how you manage it. It isn't easy. I know it isn't easy. But you don't have to keep reminding me. Okay. Right, huh? Yeah. What about Alu Maracha? <laughs> no, we had that last Saturday. Of course we did. Miss Gayatri was here last Saturday. And she liked it. She told me so. All right, you will. And um, sorry, but you like dinner? Yes, yes, that will do. No, 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 can't be done. It's Miss Gayatri for lunch, but Miss Gauri for dinner. She arrives around 8 o'clock. Okay. Okay. No need to say anymore. No chole but It's evenly those are time. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Just one thing after another. I don't know. They're going to transform me into a new boy, brand new. It's going to make the journey so much faster that I can be here more often and we can spend more time together. I see. You don't seem very pleased. <laughs> of course I'm pleased, darling. I'm absolutely pleased. But there's no point getting all excited. It's not, it's not like you're transferring tomorrow, are you? Not tomorrow, but very soon. Good. Excuse me, sir. Yes. That is uh, Mr. D'Souza. D'Souza? D'Souza? Uh, Robert? Uh, D'Souza. Oh, Robert! We were in school together. Bring him in. I haven't seen him for ages. Robert! <laughs> My dear fellow, you here in Bombay? I can hardly believe it. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Very rather. Body burn. Very marvelous. <laughs> uh, I hope I'm uh, not interrupting anything. I don't know. An old friend like you. Must have been 10 years or more <laughs> since we met. It's good to see you. Bernard. Oh, yes. 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 Uh, Robert, an old friend of mine. Miss Gloria Hawkins, American by birth and Ada Hostess by profession. But Bernard, darling, you forgot the most important bit. What bit, darling? That we are engaged. Oh, oh, oh Robert, this is my fiance. Uh, congratulations, all around them. I must say, you are a lucky fellow. Isn't she gorgeous? Gorgeous. And your friend is sweet. So we are lovely here. Are you engaged, Robert? Well, uh, I am not. Are you leaving uh, because of me? Oh, of course not. But it's such a pity. 
You are the first friend of Twilight's that I have ever met. Oh, He's such a secretive man. I saw all of him somewhere. Are you staying in? Well, yeah, I am here on a business, you see. Oh, wonderful. Then we are going to meet again. I shall look forward to it. Goodbye, Robert. Goodbye. You are a darling. An absolute darling. You too. See you on Monday. Mm -hmm.
to love any one of them? I adore them. I love them all equally. That's very nice of you. But I am not convinced. If I am going to get married, I am going to get married to one woman. What do you want now? I don't want anything. I am just doing my job. That's all. Now that America is gone, I need to change the room for Delhi. Things of everything. She must be invaluable. That's my function, sir. That's why I'm here. Uh, just tidy up and change the photographs. And I'll make up the room properly once Delhi is gone, before Madras gets here. Uh, thank you, perfect. If you say so. Just one chore after another, if you ask me. Changing the photographs. She's always complaining, but she does know the routine. Danny! Perfect. You haven't forgotten anything? I don't think so. Yes. Miss Gayatri will be here in, in a matter of seconds. Seconds? Yes, yes. Do you think it's cutting it a bit too fine? No, no. <coughs> it's today. Which touch and go. See what I mean? Good God, it's 
no life for a maid here. Out with it, then. But I forgot what it is now. It's all just coming and going. Yes, it will come back to you. Then I'll come back to you. You better do that. Who's that the telephone? Uh, yes, darling. <coughs> it wasn't for me. Uh, no, darling. Uh, what are you expecting so much? Yes, or uh, they may make a change in the flight. Due to the weather? Change in the flight? Yes. Instead of flying at three, I might fly at four. Oh, good. Why do you say, oh, good? Did I say, oh, good? Oh, yes, you definitely said, oh, good. What I said was, oh, good. <laughs> because I instantly realized it would be an extra hour with you. So who was it? Who was what? Who was on the telephone? It wasn't another woman. Uh, how on earth, darling? Do you think it's another woman? You know how much I adore you. Don't I, Robert? Uh, of course you do. Yes. Of course. Cross your heart. Darling, you mustn't be so silly. It upsets me. So who was it? Who was what? On the telephone. Oh! oh the te it was a wrong number. Oh, uh, yes. A uh, wrong number? Yes, yes. Wrong number. Yes. What's that? Okay, if you say so. And what's this? What's what? This letter, uh, it's addressed to a Miss Gloria Hawkins. Uh, what did you do with me, darling? But it was here on your table. I, I don't know anything about the letter. I've been talking to Robert. Uh, I just kept, I just read him all the time. <laughs> and it appeared from nowhere. Uh, I just remembered what it was. Uh, what did you just remember, Bertha? Uh, uh, lunch is ready. Uh, good morning, Bertha. How are you? Uh, much the same, Mrs. Gertrude. Uh, do you know anything about this? Oh, well, it's a letter, and I can see that, but it's addressed to a Miss Gloria Hawkins. Uh, do you know the word up? up? Uh, do you know the word up? Bertha! Oh, yes! Uh, I just remembered the old fool downstairs. <laughs> he muttered something about me taking a letter belonging to someone else in the block. <laughs> My mistake, you see. That's it. Everything sorted. Oh, all explain, the, uh, explain very well. <laughs> my mistake all along. I'm sorry, Miss Guy. I'm sorry, sir. It's all ready when you want it. Lunch that is. Thank you, Bertha. You run the house as if it were your own. That's exactly right, Miss Guy. But it isn't easy. It isn't easy. But we're all trying our best. Family life. Such a wonderful thing. <laughs> You're right. Go on, copy Bernard. Get yourself a fiance. As a matter of fact, I've seriously been thinking about it. Quite seriously. <coughs> oh, oh my god. Uh, I, I am running late. Um, let me just change and then let's have lunch. Um, I, I am running really late. Yes, yes, yes. How it's done? It's wonderful. But these aerostress uniforms, they're so beautifully cut. They're so handsome. Handsome? They're dazzling, irresistible. Are you well?
Yes. Oh, I see. Right. Right. See you later. Oh, good God alive. Who can that be? All this coming and going. It's no life I made here. No life I made here. It's me. Oh, oh. It's you, sir.
Besides, you are uh, looking <laughs> pale. Me? Uh, yes, you uh, definitely are looking pale. No? Uh, uh, it's nothing. I hope you my makeup. Oh, no, 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 no. What? No, no, no. What, what is it? Uh, well, uh, well, she was sitting in dark light. And now what can I see her? She's very pretty. Uh, she isn't so uh, A little touch of powder, maybe? Oh, no, I forgot it. Touch of thing. Perfect as you are. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> what I am saying is you both look as if you all should have dinner and spend the night in the countryside. Ah, uh, he's right, he's right, he's right. Uh, and about the night, we'll leave it on there. But you hate the countryside. And you know what? You're making me think like you don't want me to stay here tonight. Uh, no, what on earth are you saying? Yes, what on earth do you mean, darling? Is this thinking of you? I'm only thinking of you. And you. Uh, come to that, I suppose. It will do us both good sleeping with the window open. Oh yeah, dear me so good. Yes, yes, we'll leave soon. I'll leave now, but don't waste a second. Every second wasted could prove fatal. And I'm saying all this for you. It has nothing to do with me. I'm going and eat uh, No, 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 no. <laughs> let her, let her. If she wants to, you should never contradict a woman. Uh, you should. Why? But why? But I'm trying to understand. understand. You're making this difficult. Understand what? I don't understand. Uh, well, uh, in the morning, when I arrived, you said, good morning, it's nice to see you, uh, didn't you? Yes, I did, it's true. Uh, and then you said, uh, go to the station, uh, get your suitcase and come, and you can have this bath, this room. Did I say that? Don't you remember? No, wait, 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 wait a minute. What I said was... Abhanan! What I said was... Abhanan, would I lie to you? You must have got confused. That's our room, Gayatri's and mine. Uh, that's exactly what I'm saying. When I came, you said you can take this room so that you can be perfectly at home. So I, I settled in. I don't remember. Then uh, you have a bad memory. Possibly. Well, everything is changed now. Gayatri has come back. He was back our room. Uh, no. Why not? Uh, uh, okay, I have just unpacked. Yeah? All my personal things are all over the place. It's, it's embarrassing. I wouldn't look at them. Well, maybe. But still, I'm embarrassed. You put yourself in my position and unpack my suitcase. All my personal things are all over the place. My sister's photograph, my dental floss, my mobile, my, my undergarments. It's embarrassing. And to see you, so embarrassing. Coming into my room, you see. All right, all right. If that's how you feel, I will go into the guest room. You have some extraordinary friends. Gayatri, darling, darling. Are you out of your mind? What is wrong with you? Are you my trans girl? What about her? Have you forgotten about her? No, but she won't be here until after 11. Is that what you think, huh? Don't you remember? She ran to say that she'll be late. And after you left, she ran back to say she'll be early. Early? How early? How early? She's already in here, in this room. Why did you say so, you idiot? Idiot? I have spent the last 10 minutes struggling, trying to get you guys out for dinner. How am I supposed to know? You could start by first listening to me when I'm talking. Now, I am done. I am leaving. I'm going to the hotel and you can enjoy in your international higher market. <laughs> calm down, calm down. You mustn't get so worked up, Robert, Robbie, Bobby. <laughs> Forgive me. Apologies. I apologize. Sincerely? Sincerely. Okay, I'll say. Thank you. Thank you. What are we supposed to do? Nothing like this has ever happened before. Never? Never. Well, I am amazed, but nothing to worry about. We'll sort it out. Why don't you take Gayatri out for dinner before worry comes? 
And when Gordy comes, I'd say that you are on business. That's it. That's it. You look after her, and I'll take Gayatri. Tomorrow morning, she'll fly off, and everything back to normal. Well, as long as she really does fly off this time, because Gauri will be here for three days. Yes, 
filthy, darling. I'm starving. By the time we go there, it's all... Uh, are you coming with us? Oh, uh, yes. No, he's staying. I'm staying. Yes, you are. <laughs> all right, wait. Let me get my purse.
And this time, it's not lit. It's dark, you can't see a thing. Well, who needs to see? It's just for a breather. Of course, I definitely need some uh, fresh air. I'm not stopping you. Not without you. Oh, be an angel, come. You won't make a pass? I promise, I swear. A word of honor. Well, in that case, we pop up for just one more and then straight back. Okay? Oh, thank you, thank you. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I just got carried away. I was just thrilled that you agreed with me for once. Right, I'll go on my own. Oh, come on, sweetheart. Don't you sweetheart me. Oh, come on, sweetheart, come on. How dare you be so familiar? Oh, come on. A bit of sexy shape. Oh, yeah, a bit. But lovely girl, I must say. Oh, yes, yeah, she is nice and suppose. Is she going out or not? Yeah, she is. Good. Are you going with her? She wouldn't let me. Oh. My dear poor sir, it looks like you'll have to deal with the American then. Oh, no ways. What else can you do, sir? Oh, I don't have any other option. I can't desert Bernard. Hi! Oh, hi. Good evening, Miss Gloria. Good evening, Bertie. Oh, it's so nice to be home again. Uh, where is Bernard? Uh, he had to go out. On business. Not for long, I hope. No, no, not for long. And how have you got on since I left this morning? Well, it's been okay, quite dull actually. Cozy here, isn't it? Oh, sweet home. <coughs> Everything is so calm. Calm? Really calm, huh, brother? Calm. <laughs> As calm can be. <laughs> I'm famished. Uh, where are you going? Oh, Bernard. Why? You're going to marry him? Oh, never. 
What? It's not impossible. Oh, say that again. Say what? It's not impossible. Why? Your lips just look so cute when you say that. Really? Truly. <laughs> say it again. What was that again? It's not impossible. It's not impossible. <laughs> oh, your mouth looks like a tiny flower. That is a very depressing sight. <laughs> Oh, he 
That's my room. What? That's my room. Of course. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm so lost. I don't know where I am. Where I'm going. I just don't know. No, you mustn't be. He got on my nerves. I didn't even finish dinner. I went out for some fresh air. And by the time I went back, he was gone. Now, isn't that outrageous? Well, yes. Uh, perhaps uh, he fancied some fresh air too. And perhaps after you left, he came back again. And perhaps he is upset too. But he loves you. But I love him too. But you know what? I think uh, because I don't live with him, he's here all alone. But things will change when I get married. <coughs> I am sure. Listen, I hope you don't mind, but I don't want to sleep. You can go. What's this? Hey, that's mine. That's mine. It's yours? Uh, yeah, I, I keep my little things up for the night. My pajamas, <laughs> my toothbrush, my toothpaste. But it's a woman's bag. And to see you hold it like this, it really looks funny. I hope you don't mind, but I need it. And when Bernard comes, ask him to come and say sorry to me. Well, I'll do that if I see him. No, darling, I see absolutely no point on taking off to the countryside. When we're so cozy here. Robert, don't you think it's ridiculous? You know what? I love that little bedroom. And now I'm having a bath. It can't go on like this. It's gonna fall apart any moment now. Well, Bernard, just take good hold of yourself. This is not the time to panic. Gloria, I think I like to And any time now, or a minute. So you've come back? I agree. <laughs> come back? After leaving me in the middle of the dinner? You left me. I left you? You left me, darling, just because we all Sorry. Oh, my darling. You know what? 
You should marry me. I will, sooner or later. You should marry me. I'll do that. Now I can have my bonds. I hope you don't have any problem. Who are you? <laughs> How are you, darling? It's so good to see you. Bernie, yes. I want to talk to you. Uh, what's the matter, darling? You don't look yourself. Are you all right? As a matter of fact, I'm not. Oh, what's the matter? Well, leave me be. I'm dishonest. You? Dishonest? What on earth do you mean? That... There's no one more honest than you. But that can't be true. You keep out of it. Yes, you. It's because of you I'm dishonest. Because of me? Him? Yes, I, I like your fame. But, but <laughs> I am not. That's all right. He's a good friend. I like him too. But I like him in a different sort of way from the way you do. Different sort of way? What do you mean? Uh, I like him more than I like you now. Oh, you like me? Shut up! Keep out of this! It seems to concern me rather. Yes, uh, I hugged him. You hugged him? Only, only because I thought it was you. Me? Uh, yes, uh, from behind. From behind? Oh. Yes, and then he wanted to. And I liked it. And I love him, Bernard. You love me? Him? You understand, don't you? It's a bit sudden. Pushing it a bit on okay, you. It wasn't my fault. What about you? Do you love her? I really, really, really like her. Given the circumstances, I won't stand in you. Oh, oh what? Thank, thank, thank you, man. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't mention it. Uh, you are upset, are you? Yes, I am. But what can you do? Robert, darling. Oh, sweetheart. Oh. This is Robert's fiance. Uh, yes, this is Robert's fiance. Yes. Uh, who's Robert? Yes, yes, 
fiance. Uh, yes, this is my fiance. Really? And Congratulations, sir. Oh, Let me introduce. You. I know, I know. <laughs> darling, yes, darling. I'm really tired. I'm going to sleep now. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. Me too. I'm pooped. Okay. Right away, darling. Come and say good night. Won't you, my fiance? Sure, my sweetheart. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. I never thought we'd get out of this situation alive. But we did quite well. <laughs> you? Yes. What do you want now? I want to settle up. At this part of the night, why? Ask your friend. He'll tell you. I'm losing my mind here. Don't start all that old gloom and gloom stories. What I tell you is to go to your room and then go back to sleep. No, I will not. I just have the one left and I want to hang on to it. Uh, I, I, my nerves can't take it anymore. Bertha, 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 I need you. Don't go. I'll do anything for you. I'll give you a raise. How much? We'll discuss that later. 20% at least? Whatever you like. Please don't leave me. I need you. Uh, yeah, we all need you, Bertha.
You too? Ah, me too. But do you think they will really love us in the morning when they come to know the whole truth? Uh, it's not impossible. Say that again. Say what? It's not impossible. It's not impossible. Again. It's not impossible. It doesn't look like a tiny flower to me. <laughs> Bloody Robert! Bloody Robert! <laughs> Juggler Bernard's long-suffering perfect housekeeper, Bernard. 